Well, it's been a heck of a quarter. We continue to be the only company that's operating driverless trucks on public roads in the U.S. day in and day out. Over the last five weeks, we've doubled the number of driverless miles uh, that we've driven on public roads, going from 50,000 to now crossing 100,000 miles driverlessly. Uh, we've added more trucks to our fleet. We've unlocked the westbound lane from Fort Worth to El Paso. That's 600 miles. That's farther than driverless trucks have gone before. We're super excited to be able to do that within just six months of launching. Fort Worth to El Paso is great for our customers. One of the nation's largest trucking companies, been one of our long-term partners, has approved driverless operation on this lane. And of course, Hirschbach, who's been with us since our initial driverless launch, is going to be picking up more loads on this lane as well. Excited to see customers really starting to see the value of driverless trucks operating at these great ranges. This quarter, we integrated with McLeod, one of the leading transportation management system providers in the industry. They serve over 1,200 customers. And by integrating the Aurora driver with their system, it makes it much easier for our customers to integrate the Aurora driver into their business. So now that we've got this product in market, we've actually opened up our sales aperture. We started to engage with mid-market customers, and that's great because it's a big chunk of the market. As an example, uh, the McLeod partnership unlocked Russell as a customer for us. Russell's an important mid-market carrier. Uh, they've signed up to be driverless on the Fort Worth to El Paso lane with us. In the second quarter of 2026, we expect to have our second generation of commercial hardware integrated to a new platform. We're going to be integrating with the international LT platform. We're going to be able to take that driverless without an observer. And that together is going to enable us to hit our scaling goals by the end of 2026. In an industry first, we're now integrating our second generation hardware kit onto the Volvo Autonomous VNL on the line. This is a big deal because it sets us up for production scale. And once Volvo's completed their verification and validation of their uh, base platform software, we'll be folding those into our driverless fleet. Packar continues to make great progress as well. They're continuing their development and test program at Pace to deliver their scaled autonomy-enabled truck platform. Our second generation hardware kit has come along really well. Uh, it's super exciting. It's going to be a 50% reduction in the cost of the hardware compared to what we have on, on the vehicle today. And then you add to that the progress we're making on First Light, our proprietary FMCW LiDAR. We're now seeing out to 1,000 meters for certain kinds of uh, targets that are super relevant for driving on roads. With Amovio, we continue to make great progress on our third generation of commercial hardware. We've got in hand today uh, early samples of the computer, including with the Drive Thor processors in them. And so we're bringing that up, exciting to see the progress there. And then beyond that, uh, by the end of the year, we expect to have first samples of the whole kit together. And so we can be doing early validation and test on that, which is incredibly exciting. It becomes more and more clear that there's just no shortcuts to doing this safely, to building trust with customers, and to growing the business. We'll continue to execute. We see the strategic investments we've made really paying off. We continue to have the world's best technology, the strongest partnership ecosystem, and all of that's really allowing us to accelerate ahead and set the standard for what it means to be operating driverless trucks.